practice set 3.2 question 1 in each of the examples given below a pair of triangles is shown equal parts of triangles in each pair are marked with the same signs observe the figures and state the test by which the triangles in each pair are congruent here triangle abc and triangle pqr are shown with the same sign so here you can see side ab congruent to side pq side bc congruent to side qr and side ac is congruent to side pr therefore triangle abc congruent to triangle pqr by sss test second in this figure side xy congruent to side lm side yz congruent to side mn and the included angle y between these two side is congruent with the included angle between two sides therefore triangle xyz congruent to triangle lmn by sas test third in triangle pqr and triangle stu angle p is congruent to angle s angle r is congruent to angle t and the included side between these two angles that is side pr uh, congruent to side st of triangle stu and therefore triangle prq congruent to triangle stu by asa test fourth triangle lmn and triangle ptr are of 90 degree here hypotenuse ln of triangle lmn is congruent with the hypotenuse pr of triangle ptr and side lm is congruent to side pt therefore triangle lmn congruent to triangle ptr by hypotenuse side test question 2 observe the information shown in pairs of triangles given below state the test by which the two triangles are congruent write the remaining congruent parts of the triangles here triangle abc and triangle pqr are shown and their angles and side are shown with the similar sign so from the information shown in the figure in triangle abc and triangle pqr angle abc is congruent to angle pqr side bc congruent to side qr and angle acb congruent to angle prq and therefore triangle abc congruent to triangle pqr by a s a test therefore angle bac congruent to angle qpr corresponding angles of congruent triangles then side ab congruent to side pq and side ac congruent to side pr these are the corresponding sides of congruent triangles from the information shown in the figure in triangle ptq and triangle str segment pt congruent to segment st angle ptq congruent to angle str these are the vertically opposite angles and segment tq congruent to segment tr therefore triangle ptq congruent to triangle str by s a s test and the remaining parts of the congruent triangles are angle tpq congruent to angle tsr and angle tqp 
congruent to angle TRS. These are the corresponding angles of congruent triangles. And third side that is segment PQ congruent to segment SR which is the corresponding side of congruent triangles. Question 3. From the information shown in the figure, state the test assuring the congruence of triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Write the remaining congruent parts of the triangles. Solution. In triangle BAC and triangle PQR, segment BA congruent to segment PQ. Segment BC that is the hypotenuse is congruent with the hypotenuse PR and angle BAC congruent to angle PQR each of 90 degree. Therefore triangle BAC congruent to triangle PQR by hypotenuse side test and the remaining side of the congruent triangle is segment AC congruent to segment QR corresponding side of congruent triangle and the remaining angles of congruent triangles are angle ABC congruent to angle QPR and angle ACB congruent to angle QRP corresponding angles of sorry congruent angles of corresponding triangles. Question 4. As shown in the adjoining figure, in triangle LMN and triangle PNM, LM is equal to PN. Write the test which assures the congruence of the two triangles. Write the remaining congruent parts. Solution. In triangle LMN and triangle PNM, Segment LM congruent to segment PN. Segment LN is congruent to segment PM which is given to you. Segment MN is congruent to segment NM which is a common side of triangle LMN and triangle PNM. Therefore, Triangle element congruent to triangle PNM by SSS test and the remaining angles of these two triangles are angle LMN congruent to angle PNM, angle MLN congruent to angle NPM and angle LNM congruent to angle PMN corresponding angles of congruent triangles. Question 5. In the adjoining figure, segment AB congruent to segment CB and segment AD congruent to segment CD prove that triangle ABD congruent to triangle CBD. Solution. In triangle ABD and triangle CBD, segment AB congruent to segment CB. Segment AD congruent to segment CD which is given to you. And segment BD congruent to segment BD which is a common side. Therefore triangle ABD congruent to triangle CBD by SSS test. Question 6. In the adjoining figure angle P congruent to angle R. Segment PQ congruent to segment RQ. Prove that triangle PQT congruent to triangle RQS. In triangle PQT and triangle RQS, angle P congruent to R which is given to you, segment PQ congruent to segment RQ given to you and angle Q congruent to angle Q which is a common angle. Therefore, triangle PQT congruent to triangle RQS by ASA test of congruency. 